Hey everyone, it's Andrea and Joe, and today we're going to talk about the roll-up all around the Pilates studio and the Pilates system. I've been really nerdy about these three exercises that we're going to focus on. Rolling back on the Cadillac, the round exercise on the short box, and the roll-up on the mat, of course. Um, I may even sneak in the push down on the Wonder Chair as, a, as another version of the roll up around the studio. But I've really been excited about how these exercises all fit together and are slightly different, slightly the same, and all kind of help to understand one another um, and to help explain that concept of rolling up and down to your clients and everything. So uh, we're going to start with rolling back on the Cadillac. Um, this is Joe. <laughs> Joe, you're going to put your feet against the poles. Yes, keep them as firmly there as you can. Hold the pole, hands a little bit wider than your shoulders, and sit up really tall. And then just look into your stomach. Feel like your feet are going to stay on the poles and you're going to pull in the opposite direction to roll down. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to pick your head up. Pull the stomach into the pole, it lifting you is helping you to lift up and sit very tall. Nice. Look into your stomach, and then roll down, and then pick the head up. Scoop so much that the pole helps you lift it up. Yes. Do one more. Keep the lift that you have on the way up on the way down. And then see how much you can scoop, 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 and really stretch this part. Nice. Do one more. <laughs> Was that not nice? <laughs> and then really pull in and reach everything in the rest of it. Yes, that was good. I think that's enough. So we're going to use this exercise to help us with our next exercise, which is the round back on the short box. Thanks. Okay, so here we are at the short box in the round position. So, Joe, you're going to have your feet in this strap. They're going to be, now that you don't have the luxury of pushing against the poles like on the Cadillac, but you can still reach your feet and reach your heels under the strap, and you're going to keep the strap as tight as you can. So even before you start going back, put your arms here. Give yourself a real hug, so pull your stomach away from where your arms are. That's kind of why they're there. And then really feel like you're going to wrap your back around your arms. So you're approximating the same shape as when you held the pole and you sat up really tall. Yeah. So reach your legs that way and pull your stomach in to go backward. And now do both those things on the way up. So you're reaching your legs and you're pulling this in again. Yeah, that was pretty good. So pull in and go back and keep these with me. And then pull your stomach in and come all the way up. Oh, that was the best one yet. Two more. Pull in. And then pull in more as you come up. So you're getting your two-way stretch. Your legs are reaching this way. Your back is going the other way. And now they're all reaching forward as your stomach pulls in to return. Let's do one more to make it five. And then a big exhale. Scoop the stomach. Scoop the stomach round the back. And then relax. Good. Okay, here we are at our signature exercise, the roll up on the mat. And on this mat, you get the luxury of having a strap. If you don't have a strap on your mat, just pretend. You can kind of have your action of your lower body mimic the, the strap being there. So Joe, you're gonna bring your legs together. Yes, you get a pole. Mm -hmm. So now you have the luxury of your legs being together. You're gonna again use your stomach to keep the strap really tight and you can reach your heels underneath it. Yeah. So you get the pole like the Cadillac. Mm -hmm. And then just keep, so a word about your arms going back. So start with your arms up to the ceiling and really use your stomach to keep your back attached to the mat. So as you reach up and back, this should not change. And you might not get all the way. So see how this arched a little bit? Yeah, that was much better. So you're going to pick your head up and you're going to pretend you're on the Cadillac and that spring is helping you as you stretch forward. And then you're going to roll down again. So let's do a couple more and just pretend you're on the Cadillac. So your feet are reaching that way, your back is lifting over. Mm -hmm. And then imagine those poles that you had, so legs together, reach your feet into the poles as you lift your back up. Yep. Just do two more and see if you can soften your knees a little bit. It'll help the back round. 
and one more. Good, that strap's being quite quiet. Yeah, nice, I'll take that. So now you have two exercises that you've done before this one, so you're a little warm, but um, how did it feel, the help from the other two for this one? Um, well, this one felt the smoothest, the easiest for me. It was less work. Oh, okay. Uh, it felt like to me. Okay. But then again, I do this, I do this more often. Okay. So. Because all I do is math. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to that. <laughs> okay, so now um, let's take it, since uh, you've done this exercise that you do a lot, the other two that were very similar but you don't do as often, and then let's finish with the same exercise but vertically on the wonder chair. Okay. Okay. Here we are. So we've done our three roll-ups that are not... A walk in the park, but this is a little more challenging, this one. Uh, the push down on the one chair. So if you've done the other three, great, now let's do it in a vertical position. So you can approximate the length of your foot, and that's how far away you'll stand from the chair. Push your feet into the floor, your heels into the floor, like you're pushing your whole lower body into the floor, just like you had your heels under the strap, and the other two exercises are against the poles. As you push into the floor, lift your waistline and reach your arms to the ceiling. Keep that contact with the legs into the floor and start to roll down. Use your seat so that you don't push your butt out behind you. Yes, press all the way down. And then once you're in this position, really find the round shape of your back. So lean a little bit more forward, Joe, so you have even weight on your hands and your feet. Try not to leave your heels. Keep this reaching all the way down to your heels. And really pull the stomach up first. Yeah, so make a nice round shape and then you're going to pull the stomach in more to push down. Yeah, make sure that the pedal's never pushing you, but you're pulling your stomach up, you're pushing your feet into the floor, and now pull it up more to really stretch this part of the low back and work the part of the low stomach. Let's do two more, that's great. So pull it up until the pedal closes, pull the stomach up even more, and then both ends of the body go down like the roll up on the mat. One more time, pull the stomach up, Yes, pull the stomach up more and reach all of your limbs down toward the floor. So now for the big finish, this can be the most challenging part. Push your feet into the floor, pull your stomach up, and then don't let the pedal bang. Pull your stomach up, arms to the ceiling, and finish. Good. That was really nice. You made that look pretty easy. Yes. All right. Well, hey, that's what I do. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>